Hi, so in this video, we're gonna learn about how to move files from your files that you change and say, and that you've made on your local Pi, on your Pi um, folder, how to move them up to your GitHub repository. So to do that, first of all, we'll have to make some changes. So I'm just gonna open up our folders here and you can see our 10DS classwork folder is my repository and I've got the readme file, which the initial readme file. So I'm gonna open that up. So it opens up in our text editor here. And I'm just gonna add 2020 at the end of that and can save. So I've edited and changed text file, which is the same as what you do when you program. So I've done that. And also just for good measure, I'm gonna right mouse click here, I'm gonna make a new file, and that new file is just gonna be called test.txt. It's a blank file, but it's gonna be there. So there are two changes I've made to the local copy of the repository, the local clone. So now I need to get them put up into the master on GitHub. So to do that, I'm gonna open up my terminal and I'm gonna bring my terminal up into here, and we're gonna put some commands in. So the first command we're gonna do is just say git add hyphen hyphen all. And what this does is, oh, first off, I'm gonna to change to the repository um, because it's in the Pi, it's in the Pi folder here. It's not in my 10DS, so I need to change directory and go 10DS hyphen Last work, and now I'm in the right folder, I'm in the actual repository, and if I say git add hyphen hyphen all, enter. Right, it's now just compared what's in my local folder to what's in the master, and says, well, which files are the newest? And then it knows what it needs to actually update. So now that I've done that, the next thing we need to do is that we need to actually add in some information about, well, three, three commands which get information and user information. You only have to do this very first time that you've actually run um, a, a sync update or you've done what's called commit. So I'm gonna copy those. I've actually got these written out elsewhere outside the screen um, because I will stop me from continuously making typo errors. So it basically git config hyphen hyphen global user dot email and then in inverted commas put in your email address that you used to create your GitHub um, account. So if I move that out there, you'll see it's all one line. So I press enter. That's now added my um, email address to a, a record so it can refer to that later. I also need to have my username. Now if you can't remember this information, it would be um, in your GitHub, GitHub account, so you can go back and check those in. Again, my username is written inside inverted commas. Enter. Now, the last thing I'm doing, the last little command we're gonna do is actually gonna store your password. It won't do it yet, but it will set up to store your password for when you run your command, when you actually run, when you sync your GitHub up with the cloud. So I'm gonna right mouse click and go paste in here and I don't want to have both of those. I just want to have this command. And then, there we go. I have now run the git config hyphen hyphen global credential dot helper space store. And that is going to actually be ready, primed to accept my, um, my password when I actually then try to add information up to my git repository. Remember, you only have to do those the very first time. So now, we now have to get to the point where I've got my files ready, I now gotta send them up to the cloud, up to, up to GitHub, to the repository in the cloud. So I'm going to type git commit m. Now what this is saying is that um, I'm gonna commit the changes that have been made to this local directory, I'm now gonna commit them to be actually sent up to, to GitHub. And I need to put a little note in what's actually happened there. So I'm just saying added content to readme.md and added file. Again, inside of inverted commas, I go enter, radio, um, and I've mistyped commit. So I'm gonna get rid of the extra T off that and go again. Right, so it says here, compared to the master, I've got two files that are changed. One is an insertion, which was a change I made to the readme, and one is the deletion. So yeah, it's a change made there. So I come into here. Sorry, so insertion is the new file test, and the deletion is changes to the other file. 
So now I've committed them, I now need to push those up into the GitHub repository. So I say git and then push negative u origin, which it knows is the folder that it's currently in, and then send it to the master, which is the repository. And it should hopefully, yep, put the information here. It says objects that will be done, the comparisons that will be done, etc. And it's all been passed and information has been sent through. Right. Now, you may get asked for your password. I've already put my password in. You may get asked for your password. In which case, you'll have to paste your password in there for it to actually give you the credentials. Now, if we go back to my GitHub repository, and if I have a look in here, and if I refresh this, there hopefully be two files. Yes, we have that. So if I have a look here, see there's the actual comment. That's the last comment for that file. If I open that file up and have a look, yep, I've got the 2020 in there. And also they're going back to here. You can see the second file test.txt is there. So that's how you initially set up an initial commit and push to GitHub from your Raspberry Pi.